There are a few types of animals in Puget Sound that could look a lot like dolphins. Some of those animals are native to this area and others aren't normally seen here. Harbor porpoise are native to Puget Sound. They have a small triangular dorsal fin, make a pfft sound when they surface, which sounds a lot like a ponytail brushing on a nylon jacket. They appear at the surface normally for two to three seconds, and they often surface two or three times in a row before going underwater for a few minutes. We usually see one to three animals at a time or in small groups. They're about four to six feet long. They weigh about 150 pounds each and are often shy around boats and don't interact with them much. Common dolphins typically inhabit warmer waters of Southern and Central California. However, a few of these animals arrived in Puget Sound in June 2016 and have remained in the area. Common dolphins are much larger than harbor porpoise. They have a taller dorsal fin with a more distinct point, light colored side patch and stripe, and their beaks are long and pointed. They are fast swimmers and often leap out of the water and show interest in boats. However, it's important for boaters to keep at least 50 yards away whenever possible. When most people hear the word dolphin, they usually think of a bottlenose dolphin. These animals are not commonly seen in Puget Sound, however, an increased number of sightings have been reported since 2017, and two animals were identified as part of the California population. Bottlenose dolphins are much larger than harbor porpoise and a bit larger than common dolphins. Their bodies are light gray to dark gray, and they have a hook-shaped dorsal fin. They often surface just once or twice and make a loud pfft at the first surface breath. In Puget Sound, bottlenose dolphins occasionally leap out of the water and don't seem to be very attracted to boats. Dolls porpoise are natives of this area. They're mostly found in offshore waters, but they do sometimes enter the Salish Sea. They're larger than a harbor porpoise and similar in size to common and bottlenose dolphins. They have distinctive black and white markings as seen on both sides of their bodies, dorsal fins, and tails. Dolls are commonly seen in smaller groups of two to 20 animals, but they can also be in large groups of several hundred animals. They're one of the fastest swimming cetaceans and often kick up a rooster tail of water. They do show interest in boats and are known to bow ride. However, they're not as acrobatic as common dolphins. Well, it's north of the entrance to Seal Rock, and I don't know, you know, quarter mile, half mile, a mile, but we're right on 101. So if you come by and join us, it's a bunch of cars and a bunch of geese out here. Binoculars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for a good another, you know, hour. Pacific white-sided dolphins are also native to this area. They are normally found in the offshore waters of the Pacific, but occasionally enter the Salish Sea. They're similar in size to other dolphins and have a complex gray, white, and black coloration pattern on their bodies and hook-shaped dorsal fins. Their beaks are small and rounded like that of a porpoise instead of long and pointed like a dolphin's. They're often seen in groups of 50 to 100 animals or in even larger herds. They often leap out of the water, can be quite acrobatic, and interested in bow riding with boats.
Killer whales, or orcas, are the largest members of the dolphin family and are quite a bit bigger than the other animals in this video. They have a distinctive black and white coloration pattern, and mature adult males have very tall dorsal fins that stand approximately six feet tall. Two types of killer whales can be seen in Puget Sound, the salmon-eating endangered southern resident killer whales and bigs or transient killer whales, which consume a diet of seals, harbor porpoise, and other marine mammals. It's important to give marine mammals room to feed, travel, and stay together. In the U.S., boaters and kayakers must stay at least 300 to 400 yards away from killer whales. Guidelines under the Marine Mammal Protection Act indicate that people should stay at least 100 yards away from whales and 50 yards away from other marine mammals. Please visit BeWhaleWise.org for more information about U.S. and Canadian guidelines. If you see unusual marine mammal species in Puget Sound, please contact Cascadia Research. We are interested in tracking the presence, behavior, and condition of these animals. Pictures and videos are appreciated, especially if they are in focus and have enough detail to identify the species or to see marks or nicks on the animal's fins or bodies. These can help identify individual animals and to monitor their overall body condition. For more information, please visit CascadiaResearch.org. And thank you for watching.